I just want to be yours from this day forward. The way you move, the way you move, baby, yeah. Oh, I just want to be yours. From this day forth, oh, 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 I just want to be yours. From this day forth, the way you move. Oh, I miss that voice. That's one thing I, I appreciate you for leaving us great music. Even though we hadn't heard from you for a while, that one hit, that one song um, is something that uh, will stay in our spirits. So again, I want to say rest in power to my man Jesse, his family, loved ones, friends, Shout out to everybody in Gary, by the way. Anyway, um, this, I'm not going to be on here long with this, y'all. I figured I had to do this because uh, a lot of people took offense to, well, I'm watching them continue to take offense to Ariel. And I don't know why my video was demonetized talking about Ariel. And it's not my fault that some people are just so contrary, you know, and they don't want peace because they are uh, unpeaceful in their spirits. So for all of y'all, here we go, let's talk about it. For all of y'all who don't really recognize history and you don't really know, because like I said, the biggest travesty with the lies, the lies that these people, these founding fathers and the way they orchestrated this world, the biggest travesty with that is that it robbed white people from knowing who we are. It just robbed them from knowing where their beginning comes from. And it robbed us of knowing our greatness. That's what it did. It robbed us. So now we're acting way beneath our privilege, way beneath who we are. In fact, we're unrecognizable uh, to anybody but Satan. And there are people who are running around here that are so misinformed about history. So much to the point is now they're at the point where they just want to call it critical rest, race theory and try to wipe us slickly out of history. Okay. So in order for that, for us not to allow that to happen, we really have to be really vigilant in protecting who we are. We have to be vigilant in protecting who we are, but we can't do that unless we know who we are. This is just my opinion, and I got a right to say it. You know, uh, opinions are like buttholes. Everybody got one. So I want to really hone in on this because it's real important. For my dear, dear white folk, for those of y'all who are freaking out about Ariel and the Little, little Mermaid, um, I think it's real important that um, y'all understand that the goddess Yamaya, she was depicted as a queenly mermaid. So the mermaid is really an African deity. And I'm so glad I heard um, uh, uh, another content creator that I listen to, and I'm sure a lot of y'all do too. Lovely T, who is 
African, by the way, of birthright, but I think she's Nigerian. But I I really appreciated her uh, broadcast a couple nights ago or whatever because she talked about, um, you know, the African deities. And because you white people haven't been taught who we are in the scheme of this world, then you're in the dark. And I'm not saying all of y'all, I'm talking about a lot of y'all ignorant ones that get on the TV like Marjorie Taylor Greene and all of these people who are fascists who actually think that they're in control and they started something and then they got the MAGA group. Y'all don't understand that it is y'all ignorance that most people who are learned, black or white, or who knows history and who love history, they know that it's people like you that are, are the problem. Okay? Because once you understand history, then you got to stop saying all that stupid stuff. Who is the African goddess of beauty? Oshun. Who is the goddess Yemena? I mean Yemaya. That who who's the water god? Uh, depicted as queenly mermaid. Yemaya is considered the ocean mother. Goddess in Santeria, the Afro Caribbean religion practiced around the world. What are y'all talking about? How y'all get to make the little mermaid white? The same way you made Cleopatra white? The same way you so crazy you could make a movie, The Kings of Egypt, Pharaohs of Egypt, whatever it was, and they're all white people. Ten Commandments, everything, all of it is so sick because anybody with a, a pea of a brain, a mustard seed of a brain, would know that y'all wasn't even in that part of the world. Otherwise you would have been black. And you have taught and taught your children these lies for generation after generation, century after century, and now they so psychotic. They're running around here thinking they're better than somebody. When in reality, They're Johnny come lately to the planet. Their civilization, nor them, is as old as other indigenous people on the planet. So this is why they're working overtime. To stop you from knowing your history and who you are. And this is why they're working overtime. Because if you don't know these things, then they can tell you anything. They can treat you any kind of way. Because your, your head will be down. You won't stand erect. You won't sit erect. You don't know who you be. And that's a travesty. So, I just think it's real important that y'all understand that the Johnny Come Latelys don't know what they're talking about, especially when it comes to Ariel. Because if you really want to know the truth about it, Ariel is black. She's black for lore. African for lore. Folklore. Now, how about you take that and put it in your peace pipe and smoke it? I mean, take a big old pool off of it. Smoke a bag of it. Because you should know the truth. And the truth will make you free. All right, y'all. I'm about to go. I got to get down to the courthouse. Um, and they deliberated. 
in my brother's murder trial. And um, I told y'all that fool represented itself, right? Okay, I'm going to talk about that in another video. Other than that, y'all have a good day. Be blessed. And um, I'll see you in the next video.